morning, Spring Hill. Good morning, Spring Hill. Come on, let's stand to our feet. Let's sing together. Well, God don't know him. God don't know him. He's on the field. Yes, Thank you.
Hello, Spring Hill. This is Pastor T and Dr. Rick coming to you today for a moment of prayer. In a moment like this, when there's so much going on, one of the things I'm thoroughly convinced of, and that is the need for prayer. Mm -hmm. So often what happens in our lives, we're so busy running and we're so busy doing so many things, and we forget to go to the one that has all authority and all power. One of the things that this present situation has helped us to understand, and that is that life is really not in our control. Mm. That although we may have financial resources, they can be mm. iffy. Some of us were relying upon our jobs, but jobs can be sketchy at moments. Some people relying on their health, but this present crisis has caused us to know that you can be healthy as can be one day, and in a passing contact with someone who is sick, be in a position where you are debilitated and, and, and hospitalized. So nothing that we have is in our control, but everything is in God's control. For the next few minutes, mm -hmm. I hope that you will join with us mm -hmm. in seeking the heart of God as he tries to deal with us, not just from a political standpoint, not just from an economic standpoint, not just from a health standpoint, but I believe God wants to deal with our very hearts and our very souls. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take turns reading the scriptures and simply praying the scriptures that God's will will be done. Mm -hmm. Rick? Yes, from Ephesians chapter 3, this is a, Paul, a prayer that Paul prays for the church in Ephesus. Uh, for this reason, I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his richest glories that he may strengthen Spring Hill, that he may strengthen the pastor of this ministry, that he may strengthen this city with power through his spirit in the inner being so that Christ may dwell in our hearts, in the hearts of the people of Gainesville, in the hearts of the people of this country through faith. And that I pray that the pastor and Spring Hill and all of God's believers being rooted and established in love and may have power together with all of the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and how long and how high and how deep is the love of Christ and that we might know this love that surpasses knowledge that we, the people of God, the people of Gainesville, the members of Spring Hill may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Amen. Amen. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? 
When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, mm -hmm. they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Mm -hmm. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. Mm. In the secret of his tabernacle he shall hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when we cry with our voice. Have mercy also on us and answer us. Yes, God. When thou saidest, seek my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Mm. Hide not thy face far from us. Put not thy servants away in anger. Thou hast been our help. Leave us not alone, neither forsake us. O God of our salvation, when mother and father may forsake mm. us, Lord, won't you please take us up? Mm -hmm. Father, we're praying in Jesus' name. Yes. And we thank you for being our light. Mm. We thank you for being our salvation. We thank you for being our strong tower. We thank you for being our deliverer, our deliberate defense. God, we need you. We cannot live this life. We cannot walk this walk. We cannot endure these tests and these trials unless you help us. So God, we're praying in the name of Jesus. Won't you please have mercy? There are enemies all around, spiritual and physical. But God, we know that you are a deliberate defense that can ward off all hurt, harm, and danger. So God, we're praying now for your grace to be ours. We're praying for your protection to be ours. For every person that's listening under the sound of our voices, mm -hmm. please, Father, hear our prayer and bless in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Blessed the one who does not walk in the steps of the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of the mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that your word <clears throat> will find root in the depths of our souls, that though we have news and out media outlets, our desire is to hear your voice. We pray in the name of your son that you will hearken to our cry, that you will turn up your voice, that you will open the blocked ears, that we might hear you speak to us and give direction. We trust that if we walk in your pathway, you will lead us through this period. So we bless you for it. And we trust that you are really our light and our God in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Psalm 51. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out our transgressions. Wash us thoroughly from our iniquities and cleanse us from our sins. For we acknowledge our transgressions and our sins are ever before us. Yes, God. Against thee and thee only have we sinned and done these evil things in thy sight that thou might be justified when thou speakest and be clear when yes. you judge. Behold, we were shaped in iniquity and in sin did our mothers conceive us. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts, thou shalt make us to know wisdom. God, we're praying now in the name of Jesus that you would please have mercy upon us. O oh God, according to not our goodness, but according to your loving kindness, God, according to your tender mercy, you, won't you please have mercy upon us? Blot out our transgressions. Blot out the things that we've done wrong that we should not have done and, and the cavalier attitudes that we did them in. Won't you please, Lord, forgive us for our sins? Lord, clean us we, because we know that all we can do is try to cover our sins. But God, we thank you yes, that Lord. the blood of Jesus can wash away yes, all of our sins. So, Father, we're praying that you take sin away. Yes, God. God, we are appreciative for a moment when we can stop and reflect and think about the fact that we are unjust, but you are always yes, just. God. We are unrighteous, but you are always righteous. And, and if we have any righteousness, we've only been made the righteousness of God 
because of the blood of Jesus Christ. God, we're thanking you right now. We thank you for the love that you give us in spite of all of our wrong. Thank you that you look beyond our faults and you see our needs. So that God, wherever we are right now and whatever state we're in, we are so appreciative that we are never far from your love. Father, we thank you that even though we have fallen short, that there is no depth that God's yes, grace God. cannot reach down and pick us, you, pick us up from. So, Father, we're praying now that you give us forgiveness of our sins because you promised in your word that if we confess our sins, you yes, are God. faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and able to cleanse us yes, from all unrighteousness. So, Father, we're praying in the name of Jesus that you forgive us for every sin, every wrong thought, every every wrong action, every wrong attitude, God. Please forgive us from our sins, Lord, and help us, Heavenly Father, to be who you want us to be. God, we're praying for contrite hearts. We're praying for humble spirits. We're praying for repentant minds and repentant hearts, God. Help us, oh God, to love you better. Help us to to walk better. Help us to serve you better, God. Not in our flesh, God, but in our hearts hearts and in our spirits. God, we are praying now that you would please forgive us. Please, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Romans 1 and 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew and then to the Gentile. God, thank you for your salvation. But thank you for using us. This is an opportunity for the gospel to explode in the world. So we ask you, God, to forgive us of our sins, but also forgive those in whom we come in contact with. Give us the holy boldness to share our faith, to share the good news about Jesus. This is a great time to change the world, God. So we ask you to build up your army of salvation, that we men and women of God who have been called by your name will go forth with power, with boldness, and that we recognize that this is a great time to not only change our communities, but to change the world. God, you said that if you would fill us with your spirit, that we should go ye therefore and make disciples. So send us, dispatch us, fill us with the Holy Spirit, take away any kind of fear, any kind of confusion, and use us to bring the gospel to every place that we go. We ask you right now to embolden us like you've never done it before, that we might turn this world upside down like your 11 disciples did. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Romans chapter 10. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. For Moses describes the righteousness which is of the law that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise. Say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down Mm -hmm. from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what say is it? Mm -hmm. The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thine heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Father, in Jesus' name, we've come now Mm -hmm. saying thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the assurance that you are a God that saves. Yes, God. Salvation is not a work of humanity. Yes, Lord. It's a work solely of your own. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you that you have the power to save. But not only that, we thank you that you have the will and the desire to save. Yes, Lord. 
for you made it up in your mind even before the foundation of the world that even though men would sin, that you'd still redeem them. Yes, you would. And you demonstrated just how far you would go in that you gave your only son yes, Lord. so that the word of God declares clearly that God shows his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Now, God, I'm praying in the name of Jesus that you would please look and have mercy upon yes, the Lord. dear soul that is not saved today. Yes, Lord. God, we know that there are many that are going through life today and they, they still don't recognize that there's a God that they have to stand before one yes, day. Lord. But God, we're praying that you would save him, save her today by the power of grace divine. Father, we are praying and we know that you are, you are willing to save. So I'm asking you, Father, that mm. even the person that doesn't even know you, yes. we pray that the spirit of God will right begin now, speaking Lord. to that person. Right now. For the one that has strayed so far away from you, Heavenly Father, and, and so far away from your will, God, that, yes. that, that there, there seemingly is no turning back. But I know that there is no place uh, that the Holy Spirit can't find yes, a person Lord. on this earth. Yes, Lord. As, as far as high as we can go, God, you can find us there. As far low as we can go, you can find us there. As far as the east is from the west, you can find yes, us Lord. there, God. So I'm praying that the Holy Spirit would be dispatched and meet that person that is lost in sin today. And please, Lord, save and touch their hearts. God, for that young man that's wandering the streets right now, he doesn't know which way he's going. Yes. He doesn't know where, what direction he's going in in life. God, I'm praying in the name of Jesus that you'll please save him, God. That's somebody's son. That's somebody's mm -hmm. grandson. That's yes, somebody's Lord. father. That's somebody's brother, God. Have mercy upon them in the name of Jesus. For that young girl that, that has gone astray, that woman that, that, that doesn't know you, Father, I'm praying that you would save her. That's somebody's mother. That's somebody's daughter. That's somebody's sister, God. Won't you please save today? God, I know you can. We know you can because you've saved so many. Yes, God. And we know that you're not done saving. We know that, that man thinks that if they have money, that that's enough. We know that man thinks as long as they have transportation and, and maybe shelter, Heavenly Father, that that's enough. But, but life is so empty without a relationship in Jesus Christ. So, God, I pray in Jesus' name. We pray today. Won't you please save? Won't you please rescue? Won't you please redeem God? Help somebody to come to know that, that there is a God that loves them today. Oh, Father, I'm praying, we are praying that you would please, please, Lord, open someone's mind to recognize that there's got to be more than just the worldly things that they want. Help someone's heart to be open to the power of the Holy Spirit. God, I'm praying. We don't know how to do it, but you know how. We don't know what to do, but you know. We don't know what to say, but you know. So, Father, whisper in his ear today. Whisper in her ear today. And let him or her know that you are right there. That all they have to do is say yes. Repent and come unto you, God. God, I'm praying in Jesus' name. We don't know what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds tomorrow. We don't know about the various sicknesses of this world. But God, we know that there's yes, a sickness called sin that will kill yes, us all. Yes, God. But we thank you that we have yes. been rescued from the penalty and power of sin. The Bible declares, oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Mm -hmm. One day, God, we know that we've got to leave this place. Yes, but Father, I thank you that when the clouds will be rolled back as yes, a scroll, Lord. And when the Son of God will stand on the clouds, yes, I thank you that I have an assurance that even those that are dead will be raised up. Yes, and we that are alive and remain will be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. Yes, God. God, I'm praying in Jesus' name Jesus. that you give somebody else the assurance of knowing yes, that even though this world is passing away, that you are a God that's able to walk with us across the shores of life and time and walk us across the, the, the deep sea of eternity yes, and land sir. us safe yes, on Canaan's side. Yes, sir. God, we're praying in Jesus' yes, name Lord. that you're saved today, change today and convert today Please, by the God. power of grace. These things we pray 
And Lord, we thank you for this time of yes, prayer. Yes, Lord. Thank you for these moments that we've been able thank to spend you, together. And we pray, God, for, for a spirit of prayer yes, Lord. to be released, that even though this recording of prayer will end, mm -hmm. that the spirit of prayer will continue. Yes. And that hearts will be open to seeking you yes. and yearning for you. Yes, Lord. This is our prayers that we have prayed together. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Thank Hello, Spring Hill family and friends. You've just shared in and viewed a worship celebration. Uh, we are so glad and proud to be able to bring to you worship in this unique way. As we continue to uh, serve God, but yet not being able to gather and worship, we still need your financial support. So if you would, please consider the multiple ways that you're able to give. First, you can give online by going to our website, Spring Hill mbc.org. Again, that's springhillmbc.org. And you can select the Give Now button and you can walk through the prompts and you can be able to give online. Additionally, the notes will be there on the bottom of the screen where you can give or a slide will show up that will show the number that you can use to text to give. You can give by way of text. And then finally, uh, if you would like to just send in a check, uh, we are all, all working in the office uh, throughout the week. And so if you would give by check, you can fill out a check and put it in the mail and we'll receive it. We thank God for your faithful contributions as we go through this period. We're continuing to operate in a uh, reduced way, but still working to have an even greater impact in our community. There's still missional work that we're doing and we're not uh, slacking back from doing what God has called us to do. Thank you so much for your faithful giving. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon.